the camera of the new Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is like no other, not only on the quality but also in terms of options, in terms of professional grade features. At the rear, you get ultra wide lens, at the top, 108 megapixel lens in the middle, and 5x periscope zoom lens at the bottom, and the front camera is in a punch hole on the display. Let's first talk about this awesome hidden feature when you are trying to take a macro shot that is a close up of an object you get this 2x option at the bottom right corner it shows up whenever the subject is very close to the camera so if you click it it zooms 2x so that you get a clear idea about uh, the subject whether it's in focus or not and it even guides you to move a little bit farther if the subject is too close to the lens. Once it's in focus, you can go back to the 1x view. There is a minimum focus distance for the main camera that is the periscope zoom lens I am currently using. So it basically tracks the distance in between the lens and the subject and basically helps you maintain the minimum distance to get a crisp macro shot. So that's a great feature I will say. You better crop the image later to get a more close up photo but an out of focus image is totally useless. When you are capturing an image of a document with the help of the scene optimizer which is powered by Bixby, you can take distortion free straightened square images just like a scanner uh, with this document scan option on. So let me take a picture of this notepad. Make sure the whole notepad or document is in the viewfinder, then wait for a rectangle to show up around the document. After that, click on tap to scan. It's as simple as that. No need to rely on third-party applications which are prone to bug or data leak and also adware and malware. So. Here in the gallery, as you can see, the document looks like it has been scanned with a scanner. In fact, the text is also perfectly straight, no distortion is visible. So another great feature I really appreciate on the Note 20 Ultra. So guys, if you have zero idea how to frame an object into the frame or how to take great shots, if your friends are always saying you are a terrible photographer, then uh, Samsung includes this short suggestion. So whenever you are doing portrait photography, landscape or abstract photography, a line will appear on screen with a bubble in the middle. And if the AI that is artificial intelligence of your note uh, detects a great shot, a bubble will appear on the object as well so align those two bubbles and you have a great shot and I like most of the short suggestions uh, there is another option here on the camera modes that is single take uh, which allows you to take a small video from 5 to 15 seconds and uh, what it does is it records the video and finds the best shot in the video extract the photos and even apply some photo effects or filters. So if you have zero idea how to take a proper photo like a lot of people, uh, then you can take help of this single shot feature. So as you can see, this extracted photo is nicely in focus. There is zero motion blur. The whole object is in the frame. So the single take feature is actually very good. So next time you are on a tour, if you have really short time at any place, just take a single take video and the phone will suggest and also capture best shots and this can be also useful for taking your kids photos you won't miss a good moment i briefly talked about the scene optimizer it also detects what object you have in the frame and sets the best settings of the camera for the optimum results and this is very useful if you are at home or if you are in a park with lots of greenery if you are taking photos at night with less light the camera switches to night mode automatically but if you are a photography enthusiast if you have basic idea or basic interest in photography then this pro mode is for you guys 
when you are taking low light photographs the phone tends to set the iso to as high as 800 or even higher which makes the pictures very noisy less detailed and not acceptable in some cases so you can set the iso to a lower level to minimize noise which should not be more than 400 and uh, to compensate for the brightness or the light you can lower the shutter speed to one tenth or one fifteenth or even lower if you have a tripod or if you are taking photographs of still subjects or landscapes like a sunset or night photography you can go as low as 30 seconds shutter speed and definitely use a tripod but don't compromise with the sharpness or details unless you have to in the pro mode you can set the white balance manually for dramatic lighting and on the scroll bar you get the light source reference for example at 2800 kelvin uh, it's domestic lighting and uh, when you go as high as uh, 4000 kelvin it's uh, fluorescent light then when you go to about 5500k or above that's daylight and when you cross 6500 kelvin that's cloudy or shade and uh, it goes to as high as 10,000 Kelvin. So suppose you're at a beach, you want the lighting to be like a cloudy day, you can tweak with the white balance and get desired results. Furthermore, you can manually set different attributes like you can uh, tweak with the shadows, with the highlights, saturation, contrast or tint and uh, by decreasing the shadows or the contrast, you can get flat images like this to get cinematic look which can be also useful in post-processing. This gives a flat picture profile look with high dynamic range and in addition to that there is of course a manual focus option uh, in the video mode that is most dramatic. You can slowly focus or defocus as you wish and uh, in manual focus you can ensure the part of the object you want to be in focus and it helps in portraits you can focus on the eyes. It's a must for macro shots and uh, to ensure perfect focusing this pro mode also also includes focus picking which is so useful guys what it does is it helps you uh, get a better idea about what or what is not in focus by highlighting high contrast edges and uh, in this camera the focus picking color is green which is uh, I think very suitable for most of the cases as you can see the green fringing around the text is moving farther or near now of course you can touch to focus which also sets the exposure but uh, what you can do is you can tap and hold to lock the autofocus and also auto exposure so whenever you move the viewfinder the focus distance or the exposure doesn't change. Suppose you are capturing an event with bright light if you lock the exposure and the autofocus then if somebody comes in between your camera and the stage the focus won't change and also the stage will be much uh, brighter compared to the surroundings which will make the performer uh, overexposed so you can lock the exposure in accordance with the stage lighting which will make the stage perfectly exposed even if the surrounding lighting changes so this is how you can be a pro smartphone photographer now what happens if the stage lighting situation changes from time to time well the new samsung galaxy note 20 ultra also includes metering modes in the pro camera mode so firstly you get center weighted that is the exposure is determined by concentrating on the central 60 to 80 percent of the scene the most advanced option is the matrix or multi metering zone that is uh, the camera measures the light intensity in several points of the scene and then combines the results to find the settings for the best exposure. Whereas in center weighted the exposure is set by the central part if the subject is around the edges then it might not be a good option and lastly you get spot metering that is the camera will measure only a very small part of the scene uh, maybe less than 5% and uh, it's by default the central part but if you tap to focus to a different area then the exposure will change accordingly and this is best suited for event photography that I mentioned before even if the stage lighting changes. 
Another great useful feature is subject tracking and of course it works in the normal camera mode and if you just tap on a subject the camera will track the object even if you move the viewfinder that is the phone or the subject itself the phone will track that particular area of that particular object keep that in focus which is useful in sports photography like if your kids is riding a bike you can tap on the bike and the phone will keep the bike in focus you can also subject track your kids face or your pets or any moving object now guys let me share with you a short hand tricks you can move the shutter button anywhere on the screen and tap to take pictures or videos uh, which can be useful since this is a very big screen you can also take burst photos by swiping down on the shutter button to the bottom edge and hold to take multiple photos. You can later choose the best one and discard others. You can also tap and hold on the S Pen button to take burst shots. I have shown you the S Pen tricks on the camera in my tips and tricks videos so check the description for the links. Guys, this is the end of Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Camera Tips and Tricks Part 1. Uh, click on the thumbnail showing on the screen for the part 2. The link will be in the description as well. If you think this video was a little bit helpful, consider subscribing to this channel. This is Shukesh signing off. Have a great day.